Well, praise the Lord. That last uh, lesson took a long time to get through. But I pray that the Lord will give you strength so that we can keep going. We've been looking at God as a person. Now, when we started this uh, yesterday, you probably thought we wouldn't spend that long a time on just this one thing. But we're still not even close to finish. Do you see how many wondrous things there is to know about God? And how helpful they are. You know, the world is filled with many very busy religious men. Many sincere pastors and preachers who are so busy they have very little time to study. But do you see that the greatest gift that a preacher could give to the church is to put away a lot of his busyness in order simply to study the scriptures and pray? And when you go back to your churches, you ought to think about this. You know, not only your own life, but the life of your spouse and your children. In a great way, it's they're dependent upon what's going to be preached out of that pulpit. So we should want our preachers studying. And praying that they might speak forth the word of God. Now, we've looked at God as a person. That he is a, he recognizes his own existence. That he is, he knows that he is distinct from his creation. That he is supreme. That he has an intellect that cannot be sounded or comprehended. We learned that he has a will, and we should know it, and obey it. We've also discovered that there are things that God cannot do, because they contradict his holy and righteous nature. Now we're going to look at one of the most amazing aspects of God as a person. It's that he is relational. He is relational. Now I want to read a paragraph that I've written. It is the testimony of Scripture that God desires a relationship, a personal relationship with his creation. And I say creation because God cares about everything He has made. Do you remember when God was speaking to Noah, I mean to Jonah? And He said that He did not want to destroy Nineveh. Because there were 120,000 people in Nineveh. But what else did he say? And many animals. I can assure you that God cares more about animals than we care about people. God is relational. But he especially desires a relationship with man. That is created in his image. 
God is not an impersonal it. 神不是一个那个没有生命的那个他，宝盖头的他。Who is incapable of entering into a personal relationship with others? 这个他不能够跟别的东西建立关系的。At the same time, man is not a cosmic accident alone in the universe. 同时，人也不是一个宇宙上的一个意外，单独的一个事件，在在宇宙中，它孤孤单单的，孤零零的。God created man that man might know Him and be a recipient of His goodness. 神创造创创造了人，好叫人能够认识他，跟他建立一个关系。God created man for the display of His own glory. 神创造人，好叫人能够彰显他的荣耀。Now, when man's relationship with God was broken through sin, 当人因着犯罪跟神的关系破裂了 ，God proved His desire for relationship. 神证明他愿意在寻求这个关系。By sending his own son to die for fallen man, 借着差遣他的独生子为这些堕落的人类而死，而恢复关系。Those people who have been reconciled to God through faith in Jesus Christ, 那些因着信靠耶稣基督跟他和好恢复关系的人 ，even the youngest convert, 就算是最年轻的信徒。Can be totally confident that God desires a personal relationship with them. 可以蛮有把握，神盼望跟他有一个个人的关系。A personal, vital, and growing relationship. 一个个人的一个活泼的一个美好的关系。Now, so many people have so many kind of wrong ideas about their faith. Some people think that faith is all about obeying the rules. 有些人认为信仰就是遵守教条教规。Or Christianity is all about service. 哦，或者基督教就是都是跟服侍服侍有关。Well, obeying the rules and doing service are both important and good. 当然，你你服侍主和。呃，遵守教条教规都都很好，没有错啊。But Christianity is primarily about relationship. 但是基督教最主要的乃是一个关系 ，vertical and horizontal， 纵向和横向的关系。We have been saved that we might have a relationship with God. 神拯救我们，好叫我们跟他建立一个关系。And that we might have relationship with others who are His children. 和那些他的儿女也建立关系。Those are the two great things. 这是两个最重要的事情。You say, well, how can you prove that? 我你说怎么能够证明它 ？The greatest commandment is this. 最大的诫命就是 You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. 你要尽心尽意尽心爱主你的神。And the second greatest commandment is like it. 第二也是其次也相反。You shall love your neighbor as yourself. 要爱人如己。对。Now, just just as a Kind of stepping aside, and I want to talk about that for just a second. 我顺便提一下啊，现在。He says you shall love your neighbor as yourself. 他说你要爱人如己。Many people have twisted that. 很多人把这个扭曲了。And what they say is this. 他们说 ，If you can't learn to love yourself first, you can't love your neighbor. 不先爱自己，怎么能够爱你的邻舍呢？ That's what is taught. 我真是现在教会就这么教的。That's not what Jesus means. 但这不是耶稣的本意。At all. 根本不是。This is what he means. 他的意思乃是。Look, you've never had a problem with loving yourself. 你看你根本爱自己一点问题都没有。You love yourself really well. 你你爱自己爱的很很好。Now go out there and love your neighbor the same way. 现在要爱人如己。That's what he's saying. 这是他的意思。All right, so God desires a personal relationship. 所以神盼望跟我们有个个人关系。When we look at our first parents, Adam and Eve. 当我们看到人类的始祖亚当夏娃。And in the sin they committed. 和他们所犯的罪。We can see God's active desire for relationship. 我们可以看到神积极的想要跟我们建立关系。So let's look at that for just a moment. Genesis chapter three. 我们来看看这个创世纪第一章。We're going to look at verse eight through ten. 啊，八到十节。Chapter three. Genesis three. 第三章
Verses 8 through 10. And we're going to ask ourselves, how did Adam's sin affect his attitude toward God? It's as they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the, Go ahead. then the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Now look at what happened here. The one who lovingly created him. The God who made him. The God who gave him everything. Is now a source of fear. He hides from God. Now, why does he hide from God? He is afraid. Should he have been afraid? Yes. He has rebelled against the Supreme Lord of the universe. You see, the greatness, the, why is sin so bad? Because of the glory of the one against whom it is committed. Let me give you an example. Uh, in my country, we have a president. Uh, president Obama. Obama now, if I'm with some of my friends, and we're playing soccer, and one of them kind of kicks me in the leg, and I look at him jokingly, and I say, you do that again, I'm going to beat you up. Will I be arrested for saying that? No. But if I look at the president. And I say, I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to kill you. What's going to happen? I'm going to be arrested. And rightly so. I should be. Because of the person against the person that I have threatened. Because of his authority, his position, his power. Do you see that? Or now, if we can say that about the president, then what about God? To sin against the supreme Lord of the universe. That's why the sin is so vile. I mean, it's not that vile that he just ate a piece of fruit. It's vile that he disobeyed the authority of the supreme ruler of the universe. It's the worthiness of God that makes the crime so great. That's the reason why there's so much sin in the evangelical church. Because there's so little knowledge of God. You have no idea against whom you're sinning. But the bigger God gets, the uglier sin becomes. 
显出他的邪恶来。And the more afraid we will be of it. 我们就会更加的。He hid because he was afraid. He hid because he was afraid. And rightly so. But he hid also because he was ashamed. 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 He hid also The moment he sinned, 他犯罪的那一刻 ，his mind became filled with so many contradictory and evil thoughts. 他的思想就充满了各种矛盾的、邪恶的想法。So he was no longer this. He no longer experienced this innocence. 他就不能够再经历从前那种天真。But now there was evil. 现在里头有邪恶。A cause for hiding. For covering, 想要遮盖自己 Instead of seeing beauty, 他不再看到那个容美 There was lust. 他现在看到的是贪婪 Do you see that? 看到没有？血腥私欲 We have no idea how sin has wrecked our relationships. 我我们不明白那个罪是如何扭曲了人人际的关系。Because we've always lived this way. 因为我们总是这样生活。We've always been in sin. 我们总是在罪中。So we have no idea what it's like. 所以我们不不能理解。To be without sin. 天真无邪，没有罪是什么样的 Now, ？Let me use an unusual relationship to demonstrate an unusual illustration to demonstrate how it affects our relationship. 让我用一个不寻常的例子啊，来来说明怎么样子罪影响我们的关系。Let's say, you know, I'm married. 嗯，你知道我我是个结婚的人呢、啊。I have three children. 我有三个孩子。I love my wife. 我爱我妻子。Let's say that, um, 譬如。Let's say that there's a woman here. 这里有个女人 ，is also married. 也结了婚。She loves God. 她也爱神。She loves theology. 也喜欢神学。She reads Greek. 也读希腊文。And she likes hunting. 她也喜欢打猎。So we have a lot in common. 所以我们有很多共通点。And so she talks to me. 所以她跟我谈话。And I say, "Wow, you know that's interesting." I say, "Oh, 真有趣啊，哎呀 Hey, you want to go over to this restaurant after the meeting and just sit down and talk?" And 我们聚会完了，我们去那个餐馆坐下来聊聊天，好不好 ？We can talk all night about this. 我们整晚都可以交通交通，对不对 ？Am I going to do that? 我我能这样做吗 ？No. 不 Is that wrong? 这有没有错呢 ？Yes. 是 But now let's ask ourselves a question. 那我我扪心自问一个问题。Why? Why is it wrong? 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 What makes it wrong? 错错的呢 ？Is not the act itself. 不是这本身的行为。But the fact that there's sin in the world. 因为世上有罪恶。And there's sin in me. 我里头也有罪。And there's sin in her. 她里面也有罪的本性。And there's sin in everyone around us. 我们周围每个人里头都有罪。So even though. 尽管。She's a sister in Christ. She loves the Lord. We want to talk about stuff that we both enjoy. We can't. We can't. Because of sin. Do you see that? Now I want you to think about something. In heaven. No sin. None. No sinful desires. 没有邪恶的邪情私欲 And that's why. 所以 Let me pick a Amy Carmichael, the famous missionary Amy Carmichael. 一个有名的传道人叫做 Amy Carmichael. She is an amazing person. 这个姊妹是一个哇美好的姊妹 When I go to heaven. 当我到天上 
I'll be able to walk up to her. Sit down. And talk for 10,000 years if I want. <laughs> we'll talk about everything. Why? Because there's no sin. No sin in me. No sin in her. No sin in the in the around us. Everything is pure. Do you see that? I mean, even if I'm I'm with Larry, I'm, I'm not going to sit down and talk to his wife unless Larry is present. Or we're in a group of people. Why? Sin. Do you see that? Do you see how marred all our relationships are? How limited we all are? All because of sin. But one day in heaven, that'll be gone. There'll be no sin. There'll be no jealousy. There'll be no lust. Just purity. You see, do you see what I'm talking about? How affected our relationships are? We have to have caution in every step. We have a rule at Heart Cry. None of us travel alone. Why? Sin. And it's had this effect on our horizontal relationship. And our vertical relationship. Now, when it talks about him hiding from God, that's the way basically man is today. I want to submit to you that according to Romans chapter 1, there are no atheists. The Bible does not acknowledge atheism. It says, although they knew God, they did not honor him as God. Romans 1.18, that they suppress the truth about God. In their unrighteousness and ungodliness. So, so, if I'm talking to someone who's an atheist, I'm not going to acknowledge he's an atheist. If he tells me he's an atheist, I tell him this. I have a choice. I can believe what you say about you, or I can believe what God says about you. God says you're not an atheist, and you need to stop deceiving yourself. You know there's a God, and you suppress the truth about him. Because you don't want him. Furthermore, Romans chapter 2 tells me that your conscience screams at you. Not only about God, but about his law. Your problem is not intellectual. Your problem is moral. You love evil. You want self-autonomy. You do not want God. And so you suppress the truth that you know. That He does exist. So what is He? He's a man who hides his head in the sand. So that he won't see the charging rhino that's coming at him. He pretends that he's not there. So man can hide. But the mere fact that he's hiding demonstrates he knows there's something out there. Now let's look at how did Adam's sin affect God's relationship 
with Adam. 好，我们再看看亚当的罪怎么影响神跟他的关系。Genesis 3:23 and 24. 创世纪三章二三到二四节。Therefore the Lord God sent him out of the garden of Eden to cultivate the ground from which he was taken. So he drove the man out, and at the east of the garden of Eden he stationed the cherubim. And the flaming sword, which turned every direction to guard the way to the tree of life. 二三节，耶和华神便打发他出伊甸园去，耕种他所自出之土。于是把他赶出去了，又在伊甸园的东边安设基路伯和四面转动发火焰的剑，要把守生命树的道路。We talk a lot about tolerance today. 我们今天啊，常常讲论要宽容。But you need to understand that God is intolerant with regard to certain things. 嗯，但你要明白啊，神对很多事物却没有任何的宽容。He is intolerant to sin. 首先，他对罪恶毫不宽容。Habakkuk tells us that his eyes are too evil to behold, are too too pure, pure to behold evil. 哈巴谷告诉我们，他的眼睛是何等的纯洁，他不能看邪恶。So make no mistake. 所以不要搞错了。Sin and God are contrary to one another. 罪与神是不能和平共处的。And unless sin is removed, 除非我们除掉罪 ，there is no relationship with God. 我们跟神不可能建立关系。Sin must be removed. 罪必须先除掉。That's one of the reasons why salvation by works is so ridiculous. 因此，靠行为得救是如此的不可理喻。When someone tells me they're saved by works, 当有人告诉我他靠他的行为善行可以得救 ，then I ask them the question. 那我就要请问他了。You're saying to me that you have never sinned. 你在告诉我你从没犯过罪。You've never sinned. 你从没犯罪。Not once. 一次都没有。And they go, no, that's not what I'm saying. 这这不不这不是我的意思。Then your works won't save you. 那么你的善行不能拯救你。If you're going to choose to be saved by the law, 如果你要选择要靠行律法得救的话 ，then hear what the law says. 那听听律法怎么说的。Do this and live. 你当如此行就可以活着。And the opposite is, if you don't do this, you die. 反之，你如果不照着去行，你就死定了。And then remember what the law says. 然后记得律法还说什么 ？Cursed is everyone who does not abide by all the things written in the book of the law. 凡不照着律法一切所写的去行的，都被咒诅。I learned this from a friend of mine. 我我是从我一个朋友学到的。And it sometimes works really well. 有时候这这挺有效的。Sometimes when I'm on an airplane. 有时候当我在飞机上。I'll have my New Testament with me in Greek. 我打开我的希腊文的新约圣经。And I put it out on the table. 我放在我的桌上。In front of me. 在我面前。Because I know that the people sitting beside me are going to start looking. What is that? 因为我知道我坐我旁边的人一定会好奇，要看看这啥玩意儿。And usually I go, what, what, what are you reading? 哎，你在读啥玩意儿 ？Is that Russian? 这是不是 ？What is that? 俄罗斯文呢？这是什么东西啊 ？It's Greek. 这是希腊文。Well, what is it? This is the Bible. This is the Bible. The 圣经 New Testament. 新约 And then it kind of start a conversation. 然后就就带来了我们的交通了 Sometimes the guy, well, then what do I gotta do to go to heaven? 有时候这旁边人会问我该做什么才能够进天国呢 And I'll be reading. 我就一边读 And I'll go, excuse me, what did you say? 我就说哎你说啥 What do I gotta do to go to heaven? 我我我怎样行才能够进天国 Oh, um. You you have to be perfectly righteous without one sin from the moment of your birth to the moment of your death. 从你出生到死，从来不犯一点罪，你可以进天堂了。And then I just go back to reading. 我继续读。And you can see him over there. 你可以从眼角看到。He's going like this. 他在那儿，皱着眉头。And he says, "Excuse me." 对不起。Yes. 啊，什么事儿 ？What did you say? 你说啥 ？I said, "Oh, I'm sorry." 那我说对不起。You have to be perfectly righteous. You 如果能够完全公义 absolutely moral, 绝对的道德 without one sin, 没有一丝一毫的罪，万无一失 with nothing but good works. 你执行一切的好行为 from the moment of your birth to the moment of your death, 从生到死 Now just go back to reading. 继续我读我的 And then the guy, he actually, the guy go tap me on the shoulder. 那人就会点点 He goes, hey, 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 hey. 
Hold it. Nobody's like that. And I go, you got a big problem, don't you? You see, what I'm wanting him to see is this. What do you got to do? You can't do anything. God has to do something for you. You see, to get to heaven, you can't just be good. Are mostly good. Are sort of good. You have to be righteous as God is righteous. Not only must you not have any sin. You must have perfect righteousness. Other than that, you're going to hell. That's why salvation by works. It's ridiculous. Now I made the statement that they were some cults that will say that they are justified by faith, but they actually teach something else. Basically with a cult, they may even teach justification by faith. But salvation is always wrapped up with being a part of their institution. That if you separate from them, you cannot be saved. Jehovah's Witnesses have told me salvation by faith. But then I tell them, but I believe in Jesus Christ. What more do I need? I believe in Jehovah. I believe in Yahweh. What more do I need? And eventually it comes around, I must be in their group. And then I must serve their group. I've even seen this in some churches that call themselves evangelical. Very few, but in some. So you need to be very, very careful. Nothing of works. Works are an expression of our faith. They are the result of our salvation. They are not the cause of our salvation. And even the works that are the result of our salvation could never save us. They are just evidence of the change that God has made in our hearts. So what do you have to do to go to heaven? You have to be perfectly righteous. Do you realize that to go to heaven, you have to be more than forgiven? Who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Only those with clean hands. The pure heart. You see, the Christian is pardoned by virtue of the death of Jesus Christ. But Christ not only died for you, He lived for you. You say, yes, He rose again. Well, He did do that, but that's not what I'm talking about. Jesus lived an absolutely perfect life before God. He always heard from his father, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. The moment you believe in Christ, you are not only pardoned of all your sin, but the perfect life of Jesus is imputed to you. You are clothed in His righteousness. Do you see that? You remember Joseph? 
who had the coat of many colors. That he did not want to share with his brothers. We have one greater than Joseph. Who clothed us in his righteousness. That we would not be naked. So when God looks at us, He sees the righteousness of Christ. And that's what He must see. You see, Christ is the only one who lived the perfect life. The perfect life that we must live to go to heaven. And that life is given to you. So that you stand before God, robed in the righteousness of Jesus. And that's the way He sees you. You will never be more righteous than you are right now before God. Yes, you will one day be glorified and changed. But right now, God sees you as righteous. And that's why you can pray. That's why you can go into His presence. That's why you can live without fear. Now, if you hear this and you're not a Christian, you're just a religious church person. You will say to yourself, wow, if it's like this, I'm just going to keep sinning. This is great. And that proves that you're not a Christian. But if you hear this, I'm fully pardoned. It has nothing to do with my works. I'm clothed in the righteousness of Christ. And that will never change. Then I want to live for Him more. I want to be more devoted to Him. Because of what He's done for me. That's evidence of conversion. Now, let's look for a moment at Isaiah 59, verse 1 and 2, and it'll explain the change that is wrought between God and His relationship with Adam. Isaiah 59, Isaiah 59, verses 1 and 2. Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save, nor is His ear so dull that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden His face from you, so that He does not hear. We see it's pretty clear, don't we? What is the cause of separation? It is rebellion or sin. Now what you must understand is this. The attributes of God exist in perfect harmony. He, he is a holy and righteous God. Because of that, He hates sin. He cannot lay aside His holiness and righteousness. He cannot ignore your sin. He cannot do it. Not even in the name of love. I have heard evangelists say this. Instead of being just with you, God was loving. That means God's love is unjust. God must be just. Even in His love. In His justice, we are separated from Him. We are under the wrath of God. 
We deserve death and hell. 我们配下地狱，配死亡。He can't ignore his righteousness. 他不能够放弃他的公义。Because it's what he is. 因为这是他的本质本性。But in His love, 但是在他的慈爱中 ，He satisfies the demands of His righteousness. 他满足了他的公义的要求。His righteousness, 他的公义 ，it demands 要求 that we die under the wrath of God. 我们必须在神的愤怒下死掉。And suffer the wrath of God throughout all eternity. 永永远远在神的愤怒下受。That's what His righteousness demands. 这是他的公义的要求。It cannot be ignored. 这不可忽视的。In His love, 在他的慈爱中 ，He becomes man. 他降世为人。He goes to the cross. 他到十字架上。He takes our sin. 他担当了我们的罪。And all the just wrath of God that should have been poured out on us, 神一切的义怒应该落在我们身上的义怒 is poured out on Him. 都倾倒在他身上 When He dies, 当他死的时候 He satisfies the demands of justice against us. 他满足了神公义的要求 And the wrath of God is appeased. 神的愤怒就得到了平息 And now he can lovingly pardon us. 如今他可以在爱中赦免我们 Because he paid the price. 因为他偿清了罪的公价 He's just. 他是公义的 And the justifier. 也是那使人称义的 You see that? 看到吗 Another thing that I want you to see that's very important. 还有一件事情我要你看到很重要的 Do you know that、um, sometimes a governor? Has the power, or the president has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president or a governor has the power to pardon a criminal. You know, sometimes, uh, a president Their crimes have not been paid for. Because 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 their crimes Your conscience is no longer defiled. 你的良心不再被玷污了 It's cleansed. 已经得到洁净了 Because you were pardoned. 因为你得到赦免 Because your crime really was paid for. 因为你的罪在实实在在的还清了 It's not outstanding. 不再欠债 It's paid for. 已经偿清 Christ paid for it. 基督为你偿清 It's over. 已经过去了 So there is no guilt. 所以不再有罪疚感 It's gone. 已经拜拜了 Now, when you grasp a hold of that truth, 当你抓住这个真理的时候 that will really set you free. 这真会释放你 It's gone. 我的罪没了 As far as the east is from the west, 从离西有多远 It's gone. 神离我们，他是我们罪，我离我们多远 Now, I want us to look at.、Um, I want us to look at God's seeking of Adam. Which proves to us he is a relational God. 好，我们来看看神怎么样子寻找亚当。Look in Genesis chapter three. 我看创世纪第三章，这个证明他是一个要建立关系的神。Verse eight and nine. 三章八到九节。三章八到九节。Says, they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then, then the Lord God called to the man and said to him, "Where are you?" 天起了凉风，夜花，神在园中行走。那人和他妻子听见神的声音，就藏在园里的树木中，躲避夜花的面。夜花呼唤那人，对他说，你在哪里？ Now, 好
Some people will look at this and say, "Ah, oh, here's a contradiction in the Bible." <laughs> 有人说，你看圣经里头有矛盾吧 ？I thought God knew everything. 我我我我说神是无所不知的。我以为。And yet he's saying, Adam, where are you? 那时候你看亚当你在哪 ？Eve, where are you? 呃，夏娃你在哪 ？That is just absolutely ridiculous. 这简直不可理喻嘛，这样子。God is not saying where are you because God doesn't know where Adam is. 不是因为神不知道亚当在哪，他才说你在哪里的。Adam doesn't know where he is. 那是亚当自己不知道自己在哪。Also, what we see here is a real relationship. 这里我们所看到是一个真正的一个关系。God condescending. 神降卑自己。God carrying on a conversation with a man. 神跟人在对话。It's like when my little boy is trying to hide from me. 就像我的小儿子要要躲躲起来一样。Or my little daughter and I, we play hide and seek. 或者跟我我我的小女儿跟我躲摸摸。And she always hides in the same place. 她总是躲在同一个地方。But I always say, Rowan, where are you? 女儿，你在哪 ？I can't find you. 我找不到你。I can see your feet sticking out. 哎，我看到你脚就在那儿。This is a beautiful passage. 这是一个美好的一段经文啊。Because it demonstrates God coming and the work of redemption beginning. 这里显明了神的降临和那救赎的工作的开始。Now look at this for a moment. 我们看一看啊。God is omniscient. 神是无所不知的。He knew the moment Adam fell. Adam 堕落的那一刻，神就知道。He knew before the world was made. 甚至没有创世之前，他都知道。So he comes looking for him, already knowing that Adam is guilty. 所以他来寻找亚当，他知道亚当有罪了。It's not like God came down because he thought everything was fine. 不是神来了，他知道，他以为一切都没没事儿，没事儿不。And then he finds Adam. 然后找到亚当。And he's angry. Then he gets angry. Now look at this. You see, he knew Adam had sinned. He knew Adam had sinned. He knew Adam had sinned. But he comes down. He still comes. And he searches for him. He finds him. Even though he is a holy and righteous God, even though he is a holy and righteous God, who hates sin, 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 Of redemptive history on this planet. This is 救赎历史在地世上的起步 He is a God who saves. 他是那位拯救的神 A God who desires to save. 那位乐意施恩拯救我们的神 And a God who seeks and saves those who are lost. 那一位寻找寻找拯救失丧的人的神 And even until today, 甚至直到如今 He gives a universal call to all men. To return to him, 要回转向他回转。To repent and believe, 要悔改相信他。And if all men do not repent and believe, 如果所有的人不悔改相信 ，it is not God's fault. 这不是神的错。It is theirs. 那是他们自己的错。So when we preach the gospel, so 当我们传福音的时候 ，when we stand before men, 当我们站在别人面前 ，no matter where we are, 不管我们在哪 ，we give a universal call. 我们发出普遍的呼召。We plead with all men to repent and believe. 我们恳求所有的人都要悔改，信靠他。And we assure all men. 我们也保证所有的人。That if any one of them comes to him, 凡是到他面前来的人 ，he will not be cast out. 一个都不弃绝。That anyone who believes, 任何人信靠他 ，will be saved. 都可以得救。And those who go to hell, 那些下地狱的 ，go to hell by their own choice. 因着他们自己的选择下地狱。It's the universal call of the gospel. 这是福音的普遍的呼召。Now I want us to look for just a moment at the Son of God. Look at Luke 19, verse 10. 好，我们看路加福音十九章第十第十节，看看神的儿子。十九章第十节
Luke 19:10. He says, "For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost." This is true. 是是事实。Now you need to understand the context. 你要明白这上下文啊。This is statement is made after his visit to the notorious sinner's home of Zacchaeus. 这是呃，主耶稣到了那个臭名昭著的撒该的家之后，他说了这句话。You can't get much lower than Zacchaeus. 你不能够比撒该更糟糕、更卑鄙了。In the mind of a Jew, he was the worst of the worst. He is worse than a prostitute. He is worse than a He was hated. He worked for the Romans. To gather taxes. And not only that, he was a thief. He used his position to take more money from the Jews than even the Romans required. He was a thief. He used his position to take more money from the Jews than even the Romans required. He was a thief. He used If there was ever a betrayer of Israel, it's Zacchaeus. 如果有任何的犹太人的卖国贼，就是这个。But Jesus goes to his house. 撒该，但耶稣到他家里。And he accepts the invitation in public. 他在公开接受他的邀请。And what happens? 结果呢 ？Zacchaeus is made alive. 撒该，撒该就活过来了。He repents of his sin. 他悔改了他的罪。He believes the gospel. 他信靠了福音。Never think there's anyone too low to be saved. 不要认为有任何的罪人最大到不能得救的地步。As a matter of fact, God delights in saving the lowest. 其实神最喜欢拯救那个最大恶极的人。That's why I'm standing here today. 所以我今天才站在。Me too. He says to the church in Corinth. Not many of you are wise. Not many of you are noble. God saves the base things of the world. You see that? We should preach the gospel to all men. And we should never think that God does not want to save. 我我们不要以为神不愿意拯救世人。God has a desire and will do a great work on this planet. 神有一个计划，他在世上会成就他的旨意的。You know, we see the decline of the West. 是，我们看到西方的堕落，对不对？ We're living in a time where the West is declining. We're living in a time where the West is declining. We're living in a time where the West is declining. We're living in a time where the West is declining. We're living in a time where the West is declining. We're living in a time where the West is declining. We're living in a time where the West is declining. We must always believe that at any given moment, revival could come. There's nowhere in the Bible that it says 圣经头从来没有一处地方说 that there's not going to be revival. 不再有复兴了，没有。There's no place in the Bible where it says all of China can't be converted. 圣经里从来没有说整个中国不可能得救，没有。Or all of Canada could be converted. There's no place in the Bible where it says it's impossible for a billion people to come into the kingdom in a day. We are to expect great things from God. We ought to pray for revival. Believing that He is powerful. We ought to witness to individuals believing that God is mighty to save. We ought to do what the Son did. We ought to seek And to and to save those who are lost. We must seek to save those who are lost. 
The gospel is powerful. You say, but it seems so weak today. It's because most places it's not being preached. A weak substitute is preached. But when the true gospel is preached, people are converted. And God delights in converting them. And that's what we ought to believe. We ought to. Please understand this. I believe no man can be saved. I believe every man can be saved. The difference is this. The power of the gospel and the power of the Holy Spirit to regenerate hearts. All right, well, we're going to draw this to a close. And then in the next meeting, we're going to talk about what Christ has done in order to restore this broken relationship. Let's pray. Please visit our website at heartcrymissionary.com. There you will find information about the ministry, our purpose, beliefs, and methodologies, and extensive information about the missionaries we are privileged to serve.